All right, so welcome everybody back to my channel. Today, uh, we're going to do something different. Uh, I went to go see this movie this past week, um, which I went into it not really knowing what to expect. I only watched uh, the trailer, I think, once or twice, and, you know, I saw a few posters online, but I didn't, um, I didn't keep up too much with the, um, you know, with the promotion up until pretty much the very last second when I decided, you know what, let me just go to the movies and, um, see what's, what's, uh, what's up, and I saw that it was classified as a horror movie, so, you know, I was, I was like, alright, let's do this, I'm a huge fan of horror movies, so I went in and, um, I had heard a lot of things, there were a lot of comparisons saying that it was like, uh, this groundbreaking horror movie that it was, you know, compared to The Exorcist, which to me uh, is definitely one of the most terrifying films that I've ever seen. And even to this day, like, I, I haven't watched that more than uh, once because it was just that frightening and terrifying for me. But um, yeah, so I, I heard all this hype for this film and I saw that there was a lot going on. So I figured, why not? I'm going to go ahead and watch this movie and see what I think of it. <laughs> Well, when I went into this movie, I honestly, I was looking for, I guess, clues for it to be some sort of, I guess, predictable in a way. Yeah, this movie is just not predictable at all. I, I really, I tried to, you know, kind of make my own ending from the start, like kind of see how it was going to play out from the very beginning. But, um, dang, I, yeah, I legit was so shocked. And there were a lot of um, really points in this film that left me really feeling uneasy, and it was um, it was terrifying, especially the last like I'd say like the last 20 minutes. It was uh, the intensity was really high, and there was just a lot of things going on. But um, overall, I felt like it was a really really good horror movie. Um, I I believe it has good reviews. It's a slow burner type of film, so it's not necessarily filled with action throughout the entire film. But there are a lot of very interesting points, and if you're really focused and you get into the story, you know, you kind of go on this journey with uh, these characters, um, and yeah, you start piecing together a lot of crazy things. But nowadays, I feel like trailers give away a lot, you know, and pretty much um, I think it's so disappointing when you know what's going to happen by just looking at the trailer you know and you pretty much know how it's going to end when you first look at the trailer it starts with you know the shot of this kind of like dollhouse and then it uh, transitions into the scene which was really 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 cool and i thought that it was one of the most um creative things throughout the entire film the next shot in the trailer is that of a funeral um and it's of a burial so at first glance, you know, when you look at this trailer, you're like, oh, you know, this is the mother and she's grieving over the mother. But after you watch the movie and you come back to it, you're like, what? Uh, yeah, this particular scene is actually really like I remember feeling just so uneasy in the movie theater because spoiler alert, um, it's not the mother's funeral. There's actually another funeral that takes place. <laughs> um, pretty quickly throughout um, the movie and it definitely shocked me um, but yeah if you really kind of pay attention at the still here there's one particular character that is not present that um, is part of you know the main cast that's something that you miss pretty quickly if you're not looking for it but after watching it and you come back to it yeah um, you you piece that together and it was just one of the most unsettling things ever. This character's mother has died and she's pretty much um, kind of grieving and so we get this idea that the grandmother had some sort of secrets going on and I remember watching the movie and just like, like there were some sort of witchy vibes in the beginning but like not, like it wasn't fully there. Like there were definitely a lot of suspenseful like undertones throughout the entire film. And there were things that were going on psychologically that you were trying to follow. And I remember at points I was like, okay, this is maybe this is just like a psychological drama film. Like it's not like it's not dealing with like spirits or it's not dealing with like, you know, it's not a monster movie. And um, they really dove into the psyche of these characters, which I really found interesting. I thought that they delivered it perfectly, um, specifically the mother and the son, the characters, um, Annie and Peter. I think that, wow, they, they really 
um, they really drove this film and it was an intense ride and they delivered some really, really intense performances that was um, incredible. Like uh, the character Peter just, I felt like he, he it was really like his character just kind of deals with a lot of emotional stuff and the little girl that plays charlie who is the young daughter um is also really good like she really captured that weird there was like this um i don't know there was this like weird sense to her you know and it i wasn't sure if it was like the sixth sense or something and you know like she's seeing dead people or you know what's going on because then there's like this glimmer of like light that also happens and it's just a lot of things going on in the film this character annie um who's the protagonist of the film she does these like miniature designs which uh is really cool and i really really like that element of the film i thought that they really uh showed that in such a creative way and i love the way that they use that because after um a particular scene in spoiler alert uh charlie dies and the way that this kid gets killed it was just so uneasy like there was a portion of the film where i just was like did they really do that yeah, the grandma, spoiler alert, is like the queen or the head of like some weird cult trying to bring back some sort of demon. And it's <laughs> it's just weird. Like, it's terrifying. And movies like this are really like they leave me unsettled. Was it as scary as The Exorcist? No, um, I think for me, the only thing that really scared me for some reason and there, there are a lot of very dark things in this movie. Like there are headless corpse going on, there are floating bodies, there's decapitations going on, and it's it's weird. Um, but the only really image that stayed imprinted in my head um, is this scene pretty much almost at the end, like in the climax. Uh, Peter, who is a son, he's running away from the mother who at this point is pretty much like possessed. We see that she is like floating and he gets up to the attic and he like closes up the attic. She's like floating and she's like upside down and she's like banging her head on the door repeatedly. And it was just the creepiest like scene ever. I was sitting in the theater and it was just so terrifying. I was like, oh, what the heck? Like, I don't know why this is so creepy, you know? And it just freaked me out so bad. And that was really the only part of the movie that stayed in my head that really, really, you know, just took me to a scared place. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of uh, violence, a lot of gore. There's a scene where like the mother is like, you know, she's like cutting her head off with a wire and she's like stabbing herself. It's so brutal and it's it's terrifying cinematically it was beautiful it was shot very very well um but the ending was just the ending was so uneasy because it was dark you know and it's kind of like okay well um pretty much the bad guys win at the end um so the demon pretty much manifests into uh what he it was trying to get all along it was not as terrifying as I thought it was going to be. And I think that was mainly because of the comparisons to The Exorcist. The Exorcist, like you knew that it was like a straight up demon film. And I guess I guess I could see where they drew the comparisons in that way. Um, that they're both, I guess like satanic films. Like they deal with supernatural demons and entities and there's a lot of witchcraft going on and like talking to spirits and things like that. This is one of those films where like I would want to show people and want them to really sit down and watch it you know like it just it was not predictable at all and that's what i really liked about the film so um yeah you know if you get a chance go check it out hereditary by the looks of the trailer like i i was not expecting the movie i got in a good way so i'm very happy about that and it was a very good film so like i said if you guys have a chance go check it out um and if you guys like this video this review thing um yeah let me know in the comments give me a like and a subscribe and i'm definitely gonna be posting more and if you haven't checked out uh, my web series called death row i've collaborated with a lot of really awesome talented friends of mine and we came up with this really really cool idea and we put it together and we're finally ready to put it out um, i'm also working on a couple of other short films that are going to be released later this year which i'm really really excited about but i'm not going to talk about that too much yet um yeah once i get closer to it um yeah once i get closer to releasing it i'll 
put out an update but for now go check out death row um subscribe check out my other videos i have some other stuff um yeah more more stuff to come guys so stay tuned and thanks for watching